Hello everybody, Dr. Darok here, and welcome back to yet another exciting episode of Let's Play Blightfall. Now on today's episode, we're going to be creating the Euclid Daisy, which is a uh, cross crossbreed created with both Botania, Botany, and Thaumcraft, Thaumatergy. So, um, yes, we're crossing two types of magic. We're crossing the streams today, and uh, that is hopefully not going to result in something disastrous. But hey, uh, sometimes unexpected things happen, so. <laughs> okay, so here's what we need to do to make the Euclidaisy. Okay, I've got all of this stuff already. I prepared this stuff last, last, um, last episode, which came out Monday, okay? So if you missed that, you can go back and watch the last one. Um, I also need, though, a Rune of Greed and a Rune of Sloth. Now those are a little bit trickier, okay, because the Rune of Sloth requires two Mana Diamonds, a Rune of Air, and a Rune of Autumn. And the Rune of Greed requires two Mana Diamonds, a Rune of Spring, and a Rune of Water, okay. Now the Rune of Spring itself requires a Rune of Water and a Rune of Fire as well as three oak saplings and wheat. And the um, rune of autumn requires a rune of air, a rune of fire, spider eye, and three oak leaves. Okay, so we're going to have to make all of that stuff. I've got a couple of runes. I've got one of each of the, these rune of air, rune of fire, rune of water, but I actually need two of each, so I'm gonna have to make some more. Now, uh, those are a little bit easier to make because they're not compounding. Whoops. Oh, there goes all my stuff. Oh, stupid inventory shuffle thing. <laughs> okay, so let me reorganize all this stuff to where it should be here, and we'll make this happen. Okay, so that's air right there, and then nether wart, nether brick, and uh, what's the other thing? There's another thing, gunpowder, right. And then bone meal, wheat, and sugar cane. Okay, so I'm also going to need to drop iron ingots in here and turn them into mana steel, okay? So all I need is one, two, three mana steel, and then I can drop on the bone meal, the wheat, and the sugar cane, just like this. And if I give it a good old tappity tap with my wand of the forest, it should start. It should start. Um, is that right? Sugarcane, wheat, and bone meal, and three mana steel. I think that's right. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, I'm trying to make the rune of water right now. <clears throat> Let's see here. So, sugarcane, oh wait. Sugarcane, bone meal, and fishing rod. Where the hell? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Hang on. Let's remove some things. Um, let's remove some things. There we go. Okay, I took back my sugar canes. Oh, I need those, though. Okay, I took back the weed. There we go. So, sugar cane, fishing rod, sugar cane. Oh, come on now. Give me a break, sugar canes. Go on the thing like you're supposed to. Okay, so there we go. I'll do that. I'll grab some living rock, because I'll need it, obviously, for the the infusion process. Okay, and this will fill up, hopefully. It's supposed to fill up. Is it ready? Um, it doesn't seem to be working. Okay, come on. Now, I've I've had this exact setup for ages, and I know that this is supposed to work. So I'm a little confused here as to why it's not. Um, mana spreader is full. This seems to not be doing it. It's maybe working? I really don't know. I'm a little confused right now. Um, but either way, let's go ahead and just toss on the living rock. Do the thing? No? No? What's going on here? What is going on here? I'm really not sure. See, that that's supposed to slowly fill. Okay, hang on. So let's reset this. Um, put this mana spreader back into the pool. And then re-aim it. 
Still not working. Still not working. I'm not sure why. I honestly couldn't tell ya. Um, it should be working. It's not, though. And that's kind of unfortunate, because uh, I'm, I'm really confused about why that is. Why that might be. Um, anybody? Anybody? I'm, I'm so lost right now. This is supposed to work. This is exactly how it works. You put the stuff on the thing, then you right click, then the little rune appears, and it fills up as it fills with mana. Okay. Um, currently harvestable. Effective tool pickaxe. Okay. There. So let's go ahead and, I don't know, <clears throat> put the mana spreader here. Okay. Now it's working. As you can see, it's filling. I don't know what happened there. It obviously didn't want to work for me, though. Let's silence that. There we go. It's a little bit quieter now. Ta-da! Okay, so go ahead and throw this living rock on the center there. Okay, that, that's working. Ta-da! Okay, runes of water created. Next up, we've got runes of fire. Um, hopefully, I won't mess those ones up, too. I think I've got them right. So three mana steel ingots... Then, nether wart, nether brick, gunpowder. Okay, do the tappy tap. Throw the thingity thing. Okay. Very good. Very good. As you can see, rapidly filling. Doing the thing correctly. Okay, and everything's working and everybody's happy. Alright, alright. Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and make these runes here. There we go. Finally, water runes. One, two, three, or air runes? Air runes. Carpet, feather, string. Okay, perfect. Could be any type of carpet, right? Yeah. Okay, so there we go. We've made it the runes. But, however, we are not quite done yet. We still need to make the second tier runes and then make the third tier runes. Okay, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, the second tier runes are runes that are made entirely out of first tier runes and additional ingredients. For example, the rune of autumn, um, as we previously discussed. Is that done? Oh, wait. Okay. <clears throat> the rune of autumn, as we previously discussed. Whoops. Whoops. That's not quite what I wanted to do, but that's okay. Okay, so, rune of... Spring? Yeah, Rune of Spring, for example, is made out of Rune of Water, Rune of Water, and Rune of Fire. Now, Rune of Water and Rune of Fire aren't made out of other, um, aren't made out of other runes, so they are not, they are, they are first tier runes, basically. Um, the Rune of Spring, though, is a second tier rune because it's made out of first tier runes. Now, the next one, uh, that we need to look at, the Rune of Greed, for example, Rune of Spring plus Rune of Water. Rune of Spring is obviously a second tier, as we just discussed. So that makes Rune of Greed a third tier. Now, I, that's not official terminology. It's just the way that I think is um, easiest to discuss them. Okay? So that's how I'm going to refer to them. All right. So uh, in order to make that, um, let's see here. We need first a Rune of Spring. So uh, we're going to go with water, fire, wheat, and three oak saplings. So we need one rune of water, one rune of fire, three oak saplings, and a wheat. One rune of fire, one rune of water. Do the tappity tap. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Now we're cooking with gas. So um, in the meantime... I want to, let's see here, uh, I want to, I want to start making a Tesseract. Okay, now Tesseract, you need a Tesseract frame full. And to make that, you need to put Resonant Ender into the Tesseract frame. Um, the Tesseract frame itself is made out of Enderium and hardened glass. Now, Enderium's tricky, uh, because it looks to me like... It's kind of a pain to make in the induction smelter. I mean, you need to make this Enderium blend and all this fun stuff. Whereas it's not nearly that hard to make it in the smeltery. Looks to me like 1,000 millibuckets of resonant ender. That's four ender pearls worth. 
um, molten platinum, molten tin, molten silver, okay, bada bing, bada boom, you've got four ingots worth of enderium. So it doesn't look like it's really difficult or tricky to do that. Let's go ahead and come over here and do this thing. Okay, perfect. Ta-da! Rune of Spring. Okay, and then the next one that we need is going to be Rune of Autumn. Now, I don't actually have all of the materials yet for the Rune of Autumn. And what we're going to need to do is run over to Swamp Delta and gather up some oak leaves. All right. Now, we could technically, I believe, gather um, any type of vanilla leaves and throw them into a mana pool and it would transmute them, I think, into another type. But let's not chance it. Let's just go. Hang on. Wait, wait. I need the comma. Okay. So we're going to take this Bloodwood comma here, and we're going to head over to Swamp Delta. And we're going to go over to this little island. Whoops. Not that island. <laughs> we're going to go over to this little island where my ship is, <clears throat> and everything's purified. And there are, in fact, oak trees that uh, were planted previously and have now grown. So check it out. This looks like this looks like almost like a normal island. I mean, hmm. This patch of taint is worrying. I feel like I feel like there is probably a tainted aura node beneath said patch. Um somehow because the taint should not be there. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Not worried about it right now. Um however, it does have that does have Aurum up there, I think, so it shouldn't be Hmm. Yeah, it shouldn't it shouldn't be Um <clears throat> It shouldn't be a big deal. It should have just done the thing and gone away, been purified. However, for some reason that doesn't appear to have happened. Oh my gosh, look at all of the sugar cane. I'm going to gather this stuff while I'm over here because I ran out of sugar. I was making food before the video um, and realized that I had run completely out of sugar and sugar cane. And I didn't have any extra at my base. So, yeah, that is how that's going to go. Okay. Very good. Very good. So we're going to go ahead and head back. I just wanted to show this little area off. And how nice it looked. So that's why I saved the oak leaves until after I started the video. Everything else I gathered up before I even started the video. And I hope you appreciate that. If you do appreciate that, make sure you leave a like below the video. Hit that thumbs up button. And it will let me know that you like my videos and my content. And I should keep doing it. Alright, now I've said that before. It's been a while since I've said it in Blightfall, I think. Told, told people to like my video. But yeah... Uh, it still applies. Still applies. Okay, so for the rune of autumn, we need three oak leaves, spider eye, rune of fire, rune of air. Okay, so here's rune of fire, here's rune of air, three oak leaves, spider eye. Okay, so that should do that. Boom, just like this. Okay. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to work on this ender stuff. Okay, so the... Um, what in the world? Okay, sure. Oh, oh, all right. So that makes, that locks it? Sure, okay. Um, anyways, I need Enderium. So let's see here. Um, wait, first let's do uses for Resonant Ender and make sure it doesn't alloy with anything else. Okay, that doesn't alloy with anything else at all. So I'm going to put it in first. Um, platinum, tin, and silver. Okay, actually... Let me check on this. Hmm, is there anything in here? I don't think I need to worry about any of this stuff. There's Angmolin. Promethium, Astral Silver, Blood, Molten Iron. Okay, well then, whoops, what in the world just happened? Hello, well that was interesting. Wah, come on, do the thing. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and go grab some um, Ender Pearls from down here. Let's go with eight Ender Pearls. And we're going to make sure that um, I can go ahead and make the, um, what is it, what's it called? 
in the... Come on, come on. Smelt remelting melts into resonant ender, 250 millibuckets apiece. So that should be enough to fulfill the recipe twice. Okay, now this, this is charged? This is not yet charged. I'm confused. Why is this happening? Why is this happening to me? What in the world? Okay, so for some reason my runic altar is being dumb. Not, <laughs> like, it actually is not detecting the presence of a mana source nearby. I don't understand why. Um, so that's bizarre, and if anyone has any insight into why that might happen, let me know. Um, uh, aka Vazki, at Vazki, V-A-Z-K-I-I, at Vazki on Twitter. Ask her why this is happening. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, anyways, did I ever mention that Vazki, uh, either is or used to be subscribed to my channel from when it was a RuneScape channel. I don't know if I've mentioned that in a video or not, but that's a thing that is a true statement. Um, in fact, I didn't find out that she was subscribed to my channel until I was looking at some of her videos for um, upcoming Botania features, right? While I was doing Botania, um, the mod review, the two and a half hour super mod review that I have um, for Botania. And all of a sudden, I was like, hey, wait a second, wait a second, it says subscribed to you here. What? Are you serious? Um, so yeah, I, I thought that that, I found that quite entertaining. Um, okay, so the next thing we need to do, sorry about the, the, um, the aside there, uh, rune of mana. Let's see here. So I want rune of sloth is autumn air and two mana diamonds so that should be a piece of cake let's just go ahead is this full it is totally full so let's use this one to make the mana diamonds oh sweet okay very good now there should be a mana pool you know what actually that reminds me i want to go check on something hold on hold on there is a mana pool down here wow okay Geez, I've got a pretty big mana supply. If if I build up much more mana, I'm gonna have to make another pool somewhere to hold more. That's pretty intense. Okay, so anyways, anyways, point is, Rune of Air, Rune of Autumn, uh, and two mana diamonds. Just like this, tap the thing. It actually starts going like it should, which is good news. And any moment, I should have a brand new rune of, what was it, rune of sloth? Yeah. Any moment now, I'll have a brand new rune of sloth. Two of them, in fact. What? What? Where did the extra noise come from? I'm confused. Help, I'm confused. Okay, so there we go with that. We need now rune of spring and rune of water. So here goes rune of spring, rune of water. Okay. This should make a rune of greed. So, yeah, just like that, that's going on. Um, we're gonna come down here, make sure that my Molten Enderium went in there, my Resonant Ender, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna take that Resonant Ender, I'm gonna add to it uh, two, wait, 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 hang on. I need, to, I need to look at my recipe for this, hold up. Okay, so I'm going to add to it two, Tin ores, one platinum ore, and one silver ore. So let's see here. One silver ore, one um, platinum ore, two tin. I need two tin. Where's my tin? Two tin, two tin. Um, do I have tin? I <laughs> might not have tin, guys. Um, which would be mildly disappointing. But that's okay. Hold on. This is, I'm sure, charged by now. So let me run back up here, do the thing with the stuff. There we go. Now I've got my runes of greed, too. Okay. So at this point, I've got everything I need for the Euclidaisy. Rune of greed, rune of sloth. I can go put my extra runes back in my um, chest here. There's 
fire, sloth, greed. What else is this for? Is this used for anything else? Oh, I can make forbidden magic shards using those. That's pretty interesting. Mana lens boar, which is also kind of interesting. Um, here's this arcane infusion recipe. So I've now got rune of greed, rune of sloth, pink mana petals, redstone root, mana pearl, salus mundus, and mystical pink flower. So there we go. That is um, that is exactly what we were looking for, everybody! Yay! <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Okay, so I know I must have tin somewhere. I know I've got tin in my... Okay, four tin ingots. That should do the trick. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put these tin ingots in. Silver, platinum, okay? And whenever that stuff melts, it should combine with the resonant ender. Unless there's something else in here that they combine with, which I don't think there is. Um... But these things should combine with the Resonant Ender, and then uh, they'll create exactly what I'm looking for, which is Enderium, Molten Enderium. So, yes, that's that. Um, the other thing I need, I'm going to need Arum, which I should have somewhere, but I don't think I have it here. I think it's on my ship. So... Um, wait, 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 wait. What else do I need? Hold on, everybody. Hold on. So I need 8 Aurum, 10 Alienus, and 8 Precantatio. So that should be pretty easy, honestly. I've got Precantatio, 8 Precantatio right there. Okay, I think I've got plenty of that, actually, over at Biodome Delta. Um, so that should do. Um, I also have Vidium. That's not what I'm looking for, though. Um, I don't think... Oh, there's Aram. Perfect. Okay, great. So, Aram, uh, Precantadio, Alienus. Now, I know I've got some of that somewhere. I think it's actually over at Biodome Delta um, in the jars already. So, yeah. Okay, um, let's go check on the smeltery and make sure it did what we expected it to. Oh, it ran out of lava! Oh, are you kidding right now? <laughs> okay, I haven't had that happen, really, in quite some time. Um, do I have, do I have the lava? I have lava! Yay! Okay, add the lava. Okay, please continue. <laughs> Okay. Uh, good job, Chris. Yeah, way to go, Dr. Darok. You forgot the lava. It's only the most important thing you need for the smeltery to work. But hey, you know, forgetting it's cool too. Just go ahead and forget that. Molten Enderium, eight ingots worth. All right, perfect. That is exactly what I was looking for. So we have enough Enderium now to make two Tesseracts. And I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure how Tesseracts work, but I'm going to need them in order to do redstone fluxy stuff, okay? Uh, the wibbly-wobbly fluxy stuff. And um, it's, it's going to be very important. Um, basically, it, it's going to allow me to uh, take redstone flux produced at one place in the world and send it to another place in the world. Okay, now that is, um, that may not sound, you may be saying, well, you can do that with wires. You can send it across the world using simply wires. And my answer to you is this. Well, yes, that is true, good subscriber. However, the problem, of course, is that you require wires, whereas a Tesseract does it wirelessly. It's like saying, why, why use wireless, why use Wi-Fi when you can hook your computer up with a LAN ca connection, a, a Cat6 cable? Well, you see, because it's convenient. Yes, haha. -ha. And also, it'll allow me to, um, uh, it'll allow me to go about with my mobile flying ship thing, and um, I can use the Tesseract for power for the, um, um, the, the TARDIS the the taint removal system okay so yeah that's that let's go on over let's uh go on over to biodome delta
and let's make this happen. Okay, so here we go. Um, I have, this is Precantatio, right? Yes. Okay, so I've already got some of that. Um, is there, there's Alienus, okay. Um, what about Aram? Is there Aram here? Um, I don't see the Aram anywhere, but I've got two things worth of it. So, that should work. Uh, is there anything with exactly eight that I can just empty out? That would be so convenient, but I don't think it's very likely. No. Okay, so I guess I have to reach into my reinforced satchel of goodies and pull out an empty jar. Okay, perfect. So, ooh, excuse me again. Empty jar, arum. Okay, perfect. Now let's grab this satchel. Hold up. There we go. And let's put all these things on my bar here. Okay. So we need a pink flower right there. I'm going to do mana petals, mana petals. Okay. And then I'm going to do the redstone root and the salus mundus. Okay. And then I guess I guess this is a, a unbalanced by its very nature recipe. What? Why are you standing over here where this sheep can... You're a dumb villager. You're a dumb villager. Uh, this villager is much smarter. He's only taken two hearts of damage. So, okay. Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to place this mana pearl over here and just hope that it's all even. it all evens out in the end, I guess. Shovel of the Purifier. Um... Thomonomicon. Okay, so let's the Thomonomicon. Let's check in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yeah, it is by its nature unbalanced, so that's kind of disappointing. Um, these floating flowers, these are supposed to work for um, the lowering of instability. So hopefully, with what I've got here, this should work. Even though it's a very high instability recipe. Okay, that actually gives me pause. It actually kind of, I kind of actually want to go back to, hang on, you know what? I am going to, after all. Um, we're going to go down here, and we're going to head over, uh, we're going to go through the portal, and we're going to go talk to uh, Wizard Zillith, Archmage Zillith, Zenith Zillith man, Archmage Zillith, yeah. Hello? Do you have another free thing for me? Okay, yes. He's got a... There's a whole bunch of stuff in there. Good. But more importantly, there are crystal clusters here. Which I can pick up. And then I can make them back into crystal clusters. And... Put them around my setup. Also, I believe that all of this Nitor, that should work as well. So I'm going to break the Nitor, and we're going to bring that too. Okay. And hopefully this will be enough, I think, to, to make it work. Okay, there's eight Nitor. Um, yeah, should I do that? Oh, well, okay. That's good. Oh, I felt like I almost fell there. That would have no, That would have been no bueno. I don't know what happens if I fall in that dimension, but it I can only imagine that it wouldn't be good. Okay, so... Oops, wrong way. In here. Okay. So, we're gonna go ahead and head back to Biodome Delta now. Uh, I'm gonna drop this cardboard box, like, over here in Delta. Ignis, Sano, Precantatio, and Air. Ooh, that's a lot of Air Essentia, which is good. I need that. Okay, so here goes nothing. I'm gonna put some Nitor around, just just around, you know, infusion pillar. I can't really tell. I don't see like, I don't see like an outline on these infusion pillars, but that's okay. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna do like that, and then this, and then this, and then this, then that. And then this, then that, and then this. Okay, there we go. So hopefully that should um, help reduce the instability even further than I had it before. 
and we're going to have no issues. Right, Mr. Villager? Huh. <laughs> okay, good. Glad to hear you're on board. I, I, I thank you for your vote of confidence. Okay, here goes the thing. Okay, it's sucking up the stuff. It's doing the thing. There goes the Aurum and the Alienus, and then the Precontatio's next. And we'll just have to sort of back off a little bit, see what's going on here, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's do the thing. Okay, there goes the Salus Mundus. Alrighty. And then there goes that. There goes this. Okay, everything's looking good so far. Okay. There goes the pedal. There goes the other pedal. No, what happened? No, I need this. No! Shh, crap. Oh, it it worked. Good. I uh, I take back the sh crap I said. Um, <laughs> wow, 60 order shards I picked up. Holy crap, that's a whole lot of shards. All right, well, here we go. We have a Euclidaisy. Ta-da! Um, now, my question is, uh, do I have anything that can pick up the stuff? Like, do I have a, um, oh, I don't know, like some sort of magnetizing thing? Magnet, oh, yeah, the ring of magnetization. That's not exactly what I'm looking for. Um, I guess, I mean, I could use this magnetizing mana lens, and then I could use some of my extra mana to sweep them all into, like, uh, hoppers or something. I really don't know how to collect this, though, once it's, um, once I have it. Like, because if I put this here, let's see what it does. Does it drop them where it is? I, I would suspect not. I would suspect it summons them in, like, a little radius nearby um is this like powering up it is powered so what does it do does it does it go oh okay it does just shoot them out where it is that's kind of cool there's ethereal essence of instrumentum oh neat oh neat okay um and i'm not sure I, it pro I guess it probably is going to do that, okay, it looks like, what, every 30 seconds or so? Okay, okay. Well, that's, um, interesting and all. Aurum? What? Ethereal Essence of Aurum has four Aurum. That's amazing. Now, that is something I, I need. I need it! I need it! I need it! I need lots, lots of that. Okay, so, uh, yeah, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a couple of hoppers, and I, I can only assume that that can only be placed on, um, let's see, do I have storage crate? No. Okay. Well, I can only assume that that can only be placed on grass. So there's uh, at least a space here I'm not going to be able to get. Um, but I am going to want to do, like, um, let's see here. Let's put a chest, double chest, here. And put one facing into it. And then, um, oh my gosh. <sighs> this is, um, this is something. Um, yeah, that, that'll do. And then I can put a double chest, like, here. Okay, and a hopper there, facing into it. All right, so I think that should work. Um, let's drop those, and this, that, that, that. I think I'm gonna get the majority of them. I think for the most part, they're gonna go in there. Mato? I don't know. I don't even know what that is. What is what is what is the Essentia Mato? Me too. Me too. Okay, so that one went somewhere. Did it go in here? Okay. I'm really not sure if there's a better way. I guess there's that one thing. What the heck is it called? It's like the windmill. It's like the windmill daisy or something. I forget. Um, but it blows items in a straight row. 
Hang on. Functional flora. The daffodil. Right. It pushes uh, any items found in front of it. Okay. So I could make a daffodil. In fact, it would be relatively trivial. And then I could use that to push them this way. So if they don't land directly in one of the hoppers, they'll they'll go into one one way or the other. Um, there. Let's do that. Okay. And let me pick this up. Toss that. In fact, I think I'm going to do that. I need a daffodil. So that's going to be a rune of air and a redstone root. I'm very glad that I made extras of that stuff. Um, and then I need yellow mana petal, white mana petal, white petal, brown petal. So let's see here. I need yellow, white, and brown. Okay, so let's go ahead and just split those up. Extra yellow, extra brown, whoops. Okay, so yeah, I should just, let's see, like this, and then one of those. Okay, and I need water in the thing, so let's do this. Put water in the thing, grab seeds, and then let's do rune of air, redstone root, mystical white, mystical brown, white, yellow. And seeds. And like I said, it was relatively trivial to make that. Okay. So, yeah, let's put that down here. Whoa. I didn't I didn't want to pick that up, but I, I got a little laggy all of a sudden. So clearly, it's blowing this direction. It seems to be working. Okay. Um, one problem is if they spawn up here, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I guess I could dig down like this and put another hopper there or something, yeah? Okay, perfect. I don't want that, go away. Okay. As, ooh, this, these Aurum ethereal essences seem to be the most common. Okay, so let's step back. Let's watch this work. Let's see if it works correctly, as expected. Oh, okay. Very good. All right. That seems to be doing just what I was hoping. Oh, no. This isn't working. This is not working. Uh, this hopper is now in the way of my mana spreader. Oh, nobody likes that. That's no good. So why don't I switch this to function mode, manual mode here. Let's see if I can make it work. Yes. I just had to re-angle it. And um, the f I fangled the angle in the right way there. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Everything is good now. That should do the trick, I think. So let's go ahead and watch it happen one more time. Oh, it works. Okay. I think that this should be a relatively sustainable method to creating Aurum. And so long as I continue to uh, run my, um, what are they called? My, my, my water things, right? As long as I continue to run the water things, uh, those should continue working. Um, well, this, these two things should continue working on mana as they are expected to. Um, so yeah, that's, that's good. And apparently the, uh, wind from the daffodil goes pretty far. So that's, that's a good thing. Okay. But as you can see, yeah, they just like, they, they appear, they get blown this way. All of a sudden, boom, they're, they're in the, they're in the chest. And it seems to be working just as I imagined it in my head. Um, which is a good thing, because rarely do things go exactly as I imagine them in my head. Okay, guys, well, this episode's been way too long. 
um, at this point. Uh, but next episode is going to be fun. That'll be next week, either Monday or Wednesday. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm changing the schedule a little bit uh, to accommodate for the fact that in a recent poll, everybody said that Blightfall is the best. So I want more Blightfall on the schedule. I'm not exactly sure how often it'll be, but I'm thinking of bumping Blightfall back up to two days a week, doing uh, Doc's Castle Fridays, and um, doing Minecraft Story Mode as it comes out, and making it like hour and a half long um, full episode specials. So instead of splitting the episode into three parts, I'll make it one part, so to speak. But yeah, I'm not really sh sure about that. However, if you're one of the people that's still sticking around at the end of this um, episode of Blightfall, you're, you made it all the way to the end and stuff, then you're one of the people whose opinion I would highly value in terms of scheduling. So if you've got any uh, scheduling tips, anything that you'd like to see on a specific day or more often, um, or you just have any general comments, um, be sure to let me know that you made it to the end and you received my special invitation to give special comments and uh, I will be sure to take your um, be sure to take your opinion in slightly higher regard okay yeah this seems to be working this is good this is good I like this so we're just building up oh wow cool we are building up all the essence okay I've got one more thing actually now that I think about it, um, one more thing that I need to do there, and it's a very easy thing, um, so it should only take me a moment here, but that is going to be, I need quartzite here, and a stick, make a lever, okay, and boom. Now that should turn off the Euclidaisy, I believe. So I think that that should do it. Anyways, <clears throat> just in case, you know, I'm overflowing with, like, essences here, I need to, you know, turn it off or whatever. Okay, so once again, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like below the video if you haven't done that already, and uh, comment down in the comments section if you thought that this was particularly helpful and maybe you know somebody else who's working on uh, Blightfall or Botania or just likes Minecraft videos, you can share this video their way too, you know? You know, expand expand the Dr. Darok family a little bit, get more people watching the videos. The more people who watch the videos, the more money I make, the more money I make, the more time I have to make videos because it's more worth my time. All right, sound good? So sounds sensible, right? Okay, so once again, thanks for watching. I'm out. See you next time.